Hi, everybody. Chris and PJ here live in the Dream Giveaway Garage. Hello, sir. I'm happy to be back here in the garage. I was gone for a few days. It's been so long, I almost forget how to stand here and do a Facebook Live, PJ. <laughs> I'm sure our, our <laughs> followers are all missing us as well. Oh, absolutely. Well, I told you guys, I've been telling you for months, we launched the biggest muscle car giveaway ever in Dream Giveaway history. You folks have responded. You agree with me. I agree with me. Talk about it. We're calling it a super Chevy dream giveaway. Why are we calling it that, Chris? Because these are the super S Chevys, uh, probably of uh, the entire muscle car era. So we went out and picked the best of the best. I am. We'll talk about them in a minute from 1969 and from 1970. We made sure they were matching. We made sure that they had national quality restorations. And here's the news. One person is going to win this 1969 Camaro L78 396, 375 horsepower, four shift and turbo 400. Holy grail right here, guys. Holy grail. 1969, you said? 1969 L78 car, super rare. And get ready for this. Are you sitting down? I'm not. I'm standing up. PJ, are you sitting down? I am not. You're standing up. Roger, are you sitting down? Maybe he's standing up. Oh, he is, because he <laughs> says, welcome back, super yeah. heavy Chevy launch. Yeah. 14,000 original miles. You heard me what? right. It says it right on the title. 14,000 original miles. My Buick has more miles than that. Is this wow. a resto mod, Chris? It looks beautiful. It is not a resto mod. However, there are some speed parts on there and what's so cool about this and these can be reversed if you're so inclined it's got afr aluminum heads and it's got some uh, hand-built headers on there uh, but that is the original block as far as we know that's what we've been told and just some other very tasteful mods but it does not fall into the rest of my category. Why or oh, why am I saying that? Because it has the original block, so the carbureted 396. Again, it just has some speed parts added to it. It does have a larger budnet, 17-inch uh, wheels with BF Goodrich uh, rubber on there. It gives it kind of a modern-looking stance. But as that is the original short block, as far as we know, then uh, I would not classify it as a resto mod. Let's take a quick look in the in interior. And PJ, start telling me how much everybody loves this one. <laughs> well, everybody's first off <laughs> loving the fact that we're back here. Oh, and that's good JT news too. Hey, Chris and PJ, how have you been? Yeah. Um, I'll tell you, you know I love uh, old school muscle cars, and there's nothing more old school than a hound's tooth interior in a 69 Camaro big block. Uh, cool stuff going on here. It's got step gauges there, uh, just on the other side of that horseshoe uh, shifter handle. It's got factory tack, factory clock, and that still works. Standard interior uh, on here for the 69. Looks like that's a more modern steering wheel that was factory issued uh, way back in the day. But what a gorgeous. Camaro. Uh, and think of it, you got to make room for two Super S Chevys in your garage. It's not pick one, it's win. We haven't even seen the other one, Chris. No, we're going to right now. Hold on. First time doing it. Oh, that's oh, nice. That good. So 69 right. Camaro. Plus 1970 Chevelle SS 454. I love this one. PJ, may I take this car home? You would take this car home over the other one? I would. My, so, well, yeah, and the other one has more power, but we'll talk about that uh, on another day. Wait, wait, wait. This has got a 454, and it's a 1970, and the other one is uh 396, and it's a 69, and it has more power? Because when they put those aluminum heads on it and the headers, it produces more power. About uh, over 100 more horsepower on the Camaro, but I said we'll talk about that on another What day. are we looking at here, Chris? This is a stock restored 70 SS 454 LS5, 360 horsepower. And what I still dig about this is the color combo. It's that Cortez Silver, same as the 69 Camaro, 
but you could not get a hound's tooth anterior uh, in a Chevelle. So this has, and it's a, such a striking color combo. Come over here, guys. You're going to love it. Such a hot rod, and yet such a cruiser at the same time. Oh, look at this interior. Look at this. It's a red vinyl <laughs> bench seat interior with a column shift big block. This is heaven, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that column shift. Wow. Wow. 500 foot pounds of torque from a column shift. This thing will light them up and light them up. <laughs> and the factory air conditioning. So let me tell you guys a little bit about why the LS5 uh, was such a rare engine in 1970. So of course you've heard of the LS6. We've given one away. The LS6 is a solid lifter, 454, four, uh, 425 horse or 450 horse, depending upon uh, who you talk to. And but you could not get it with air conditioning. However, the largest big block you can get in the Chevelle with air conditioning was also a 454 cube, but it was designated the LS5. And it was 360 horse with a hydraulic uh, lifters, not with solid lifters. And so if you desire air conditioning with the Chevelle SS, and you needed the highest performing 454 that the factory would put air conditioning in the car, you got the LS5. And so less, they made more LS6 cars than LS5 cars, making this more rare uh, than an LS6. But what a desirable color combination. And this is a factory color combo on it, the silver with the red. So somebody really knew uh, what they were ordering and uh, what they were getting back in 1970. That's a lot of red, Chris. That's, I'll, I'll tell you what. That it's is beautiful. a lot of red. It's, it's really beautiful. So new in the great state of Georgia. Well, you asked, you just kind of touched upon one of the questions here. Yeah. Uh, Raymond says, did these two cars come from the same owner? They did not. No, it came from two different collections and were so new at two different dealers as well. So again, the uh, SS454 here, so new in Georgia. I believe that the Camaro L78 SS396 sold new in the great state of Illinois. So there you go. For Both the with the same color. Both in the same color, Cortez Silver. Amazing. Absolutely, yes. So Raymond says, uh, good to have you guys back. When oh, Chris, good to have us back. When Chris mentioned uh, Super giveaway coming up with a lot of horsepower. I thought maybe he was exaggerating, but no, this is a super big block Chevy giveaway, probably the best muscle car giveaway ever. Amen. Yeah. I, I hear you. And we picked them right. And uh, this is our such an amazing muscle car giveaway. I wasn't exaggerating. Never done two classic Chevy big blocks together to one winner. And it all started, uh, what's today? Wednesday, so it started three days ago at dreamgiveaway.com. You can get your entries to win for the next 11 months. And by this time next year, someone will be standing way over there underneath stage A. And we're gonna be handing them the keys and PJ will be signing over the title uh, to these two incredible Chevys. Someone asked me earlier, they said, well, what if you only had a one car garage? What are you gonna do? Well, I'd, I'd buy a backyard buddy lift. Right. You only have a one and, and this is sitting on the lower half of the backyard buddy lift, right? I'm, correct. And so the Camaro is sitting on the top. I should say, when this comes off, the Camaro goes on, it raises, and then the Chevelle comes underneath. Uh, the backyard buddy is not included uh, with this giveaway. But let's talk about price value for a second. So if you been, haven't been watching the big auctions lately, SS396, L78 from 69 with 14,000 original miles, this car would probably be 150 grand just by itself at one of those big auctions. And how about this Chevelle? LS5, concourse restored, probably 100 grand or more. So together, this prize package, I haven't even added in the taxes that we're going to pay if you're the winner. Almost $300,000 prize value. You can look the, the uh, 
approximate retail value on the official rules on the website. And I'll give you the exact number that, that uh, we published with it. But what an amazing prize package. Our biggest, most valuable muscle car giveaway of all time. And as far as I'm concerned, we couldn't have picked two better Chevys. PJ, who's out there? Well, these two were sitting in the other room, you know, on some of our Facebook lives. People could kind of get a sneak peek right. at a little bit about what it is. But uh, right. uh, P. Vanderwall says uh, AC is a big deal and good to see uh, big power from the 70s. From the 70s as well. And so, you know what, if you're looking for stock restored to take out, this is a great cruiser that'll light them up. If you're looking for performance after performance, then you take the Camaro out. And both of them, you know what I'm gonna do? I wasn't supposed to do it, but because we haven't done a video with you guys for a few days, I'm gonna fire up the Camaro. You're gonna to have to wait on the Chevelle until tomorrow or Friday, okay? Or you want me to fire up the Chevelle? Raise your hands, fire up the Camaro? Okay. <laughs> Chris, are, are, were people at, back in the 1969 and 1970, if you were a Camaro fan, you would never go with a Chevelle, or you could? Oh, of course. If you were a Chevelle fan, would. would you go with Camaro? Yeah, no, of course you would. Yeah. Because it's, it's pretty much the same. If you're a Chevy guy, you want to go with a Ford. You're a Ford guy, you want to go with a Chevy. Gotcha. There was more of that. You know, usually the Chevelle would be for some, Chevelle was more expensive. So if you had a better oh. job back in 1969, model year 1970, you might have opted for the, for the Chevelle. But doesn't the Camaro look sportier? It does. And if you went drag racing, you might have gone for the, might have gone for the Cell 78. Camaro, it is a little bit lighter. Yeah. But, but you know what? There's no underestimating the significance of the 1970 Chevelle SS454. It is the absolute pinnacle by the muscle car. Yeah. You're going to say holy grail, aren't you? I was going to say. <laughs> I'm going to get back here, but I'm going to look at these beautiful body lines as I go back here. Chris, wow. I, there's actually three distinct sounds that I heard when you fired it up. Obviously, yeah, and it had a, one, a right. little bit of a pop, and right. then they had that rumble. Right. Did that you, idle from the cam, correct. <laughs> when you hit it, I was not expecting oh, it. Oh, yeah. And when I hit it, boom. It, yeah. it sounded like something exploded. Right, yeah. This is a healthy, healthy engine. We'll, we'll talk about horsepower numbers on another day. But let's take another look at the interior here. Uh, once again, you've got the stock 120. Uh, gauge cluster in there, working clock. You've got a 7,000 RPM tack that likes you to shift about 5,800 right here. And again, you can put it right here in third gear, cruise all day long, or you can drop it down into first and light them up and light them up how, hard. How popular was that horseshoe grip? Very, very popular. Very popular in 1969. And if you look back there on the other side of the horseshoe, you'll see we call them step gauges. So it was an option on the Corvette. Those, to me, look like they're modern uh, gauge clusters inside of the original style housing, and that's cool. Uh, and you've got your, your vitals being monitored there. You've got a modern retro sound or whatever it is, car stereo there as well. What a beautiful car. Looks brand new on the inside. And with 14,000 miles, man, this has got to be one of the most valuable Camaros on Earth. Uh, Thomas says, uh, prize, that, <laughs> <Horn> works. <laughs> prize that will make you feel fantastic, fall down and cry. Yeah, absolutely. It really is. Can you imagine winning both of these? Now, I can't and PJ can't because we're not allowed to enter. But every time you make a donation to help out charity at dreamgiveaway.com, you're, you're
you're in the running for it. And I guarantee you, just like you did, what, 131 winners? Exactly, 131 so, winners. 131 winners since 2007. Next year in 2024, somebody's going to win both of these. And they're going to freak out when they get that phone call that they won both of those. And they're going to be so delighted, so happy. And they're going to fly here to Dream Giveaway. And they're going to get the keys. Wow. Uh, P. Vanderwall says, I took my girlfriend to her prom in the exact same color Chevelle. The best part was her father owned the car, tossed the keys to me, and said, have fun. Well, I'll tell you what. I... You shouldn't share any prom stories with us in a P, in a PG Facebook Live. But. Well, well, this bucket seat Camaro <laughs> certainly wouldn't be what you'd want. Well, you'd want you the bench know. seat Chevelle. <laughs> there, there you go. I hope that was a prom night that you recall fondly, my friend. <laughs> Tommy says the Nova has some sound competition. You know, he really does. And I'm glad that you brought that up. I think Nova's a touch louder, but barely, barely. Uh, TJ, right. TJ says you guys have the best charities. We appreciate that. Yeah, and uh, and we pick the best cars for you guys because you're the best. Listen, if you weren't helping out those charities, we couldn't pick yeah, these cool this is cars. All, all because of you guys. Yeah, we appreciate right. that. All because of you guys. Because <laughs> where'd the sticker come from? That says right Please there. Please do not touch. <laughs> TJ, can't you read? <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. But there you go. anyway, so guys, the biggest muscle car giveaway ever. Ever, ever, ever. Not just us. I don't think anybody has ever put together a prize package so amazing, so iconic, so legendary, and so, I'm going to say it, holy grail. You're looking at it. 69 Camaro, SS396, L78, 375 horse, 1970 Chevelle, SS454, LS5, 360 horse. Wow. What a prize package. What a prize package. It's so big, it gets bigger just saying it's big. <laughs> <laughs> and Roger's right up here too. He says, listen to that door shot. That's a lovely sound. I want to, and I'll tell you what, you know, full frame cars get a better door shut sound than, the, than a uh, sub frame car, right? Listen to this music. <laughs> here we go, just one more. That's good stuff. All right, guys, you know how to help out those charities at DreamGiveaway.com. By the way, let me remind you that there's, what, 22 days left to get your entries to win on the Nova, right? Yeah, the other loud car. The other loud <laughs> car. And then GT500 only has a few days left on right. it. Uh, Kathy can tell you how many days exactly. That's pretty loud, too. Correct. So next week... Starting on Tuesday, Peter and I will be at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. We'll be broadcasting live from Rhino Classifieds booth, where you can buy, sell, and trade what matters to you. So we will not have a video on Monday, but we will have one on Friday. So we hope you join us tomorrow and on Friday. Then please allow us to get safely out to Las Vegas, and then we'll be back live on Tuesday. And we'll do a couple videos a day while we're out there. And then... One week from this Saturday, please join me and the Dream Giveaway team up at Big Daddy Don Garlitz Museum of Drag Racing in beautiful Ocala, Florida. And this is a great time of year to be hanging out in Florida. We'll be meeting the winner, John Kay, of the Demon 340. He'll be flying out from the great state of Washington. Long flight, and will his arms be tired? But once he lands... See, I snuck that joke in, PJ? That was a good one. Thank you so much. Once he lands, he's going to get a private tour of the Dream Giveaway Garage. And then uh, we're going to meet him up on Saturday at Big Daddy Don Garlitz. And the man himself, Don Garlitz, 17-time world champion drag racer, is going to hand him the keys to that Demon 340. No, he's not going to drive it all the way back to the great state of Washington. He'll get it transported. Uh, but he told me he had a Plymouth Duster back in the day. So this is a perfect win for him. That's right. Kathy says six days on the Shelby, by the yeah. way. And third winner from Washington? Yes. Six days left on Shelby, 22 days left on Nova. So get your entries on there. And then, huh, November 1st, we have another incredible prize package launching. No sneak peeks yet. Uh, maybe I'll drop a clue or two on Thursday, uh, tomorrow or Friday. I'm still drooling over this two pair here. Yeah. I Look love that. You know what I love on the SS 454? 
I love that really bold SS emblem. Yeah. Now, if you compare them on, on the 70 Chevelle SS, and now go back and look at it on the 69 Camaro. Smaller. See, it's a little more sedate on the Camaro. It is not sedate at all on the Chevelle. It's actually thinner, I think. It is. Yeah. This is really it's super <laughs> thick, super in your face on the 70 SS 454, as it should. What an incredible price package, Fusion. Which one are you taking home tonight? I want the Camaro. I'll take the Chevelle. <laughs> but we can't enter, but you guys can. So, hey, that's enough for today. Thanks for joining us. We're so happy to be back sharing these uh, great uh, vehicles with you that you can enter the win. And we will see you tomorrow with more great fun, more great action, more great grand prizes in our favorite place on earth. Woo hoo hoo. Best giveaway ever for muscle cars. Raise your hand if you agree. We'll see you tomorrow in the Dream Giveaway Garage. See you next time, everyone.